Join over 75,000 satisfied customers who use a standard air conditioner and a cool bot for their refrigeration needs. Our professional grade turnkey walk-in cooler system is designed to cool a room as low as 34 degrees Fahrenheit and saves you thousands of dollars a year in electricity costs compared to traditional refrigeration systems. The CoolBot walk-in cooler is the perfect solution for farmers, microbrewers, florists, hunters, meat processors, mortuaries, or anyone in need of an affordable and efficient solution for their refrigeration needs. Prior to assembling your walk-in cooler, please refer to our CoolBot walk-in cooler installation manual for complete details and important information regarding the installation of your CoolBot walk-in cooler and use this video only as additional assistance for the installation of your CoolBot walk-in cooler. All CoolBot walk-in coolers are palletized and crated at the factory in an effort to reduce the potential of damage during transportation. Please do not refuse shipments. Simply take pictures and contact us with any concerns regarding your shipment. We'll handle the rest. When receiving and before uncrating, Inspect your shipment and document any visible damages on the delivery receipt. Have the driver sign it and retain a copy or photo for your records. Take pictures of the damages before uncrating and contact our support team. Always wear protective gear when uncrating your cooler and handling walk-in cooler panels and parts. Please do not use saws to uncrate the cooler and the air conditioner. Locate your parts box in the contents of the shipment Inside, you will find the packing list, setup drawings, assembly wrench, the CoolBot Pro controller, and other installation hardware. If you have an outdoor cooler, the membrane and installation hardware for the membrane will be included in a box along with the contents of the shipment. Review the packing list and thoroughly inspect all contents of the shipment. Report any shortages or damages to our support team. If the air conditioner has been on the side or upside down, please set the unit on the correct position and let it stand for a minimum of 24 hours before plugging in. Remember, always wear protective gear when handling walk-in cooler panels and parts. Look at the setup drawing found in the parts box to familiarize yourself with the layout of the cooler and use it throughout the installation of the walk-in. If you cannot locate the assembly drawing, please contact us. For convenience at assembling, all panels have been marked at the factory with a part number using a sticker or a number written on the side of the panel. Before starting assembly, familiarize yourself with the operation of the cam lock mechanism. In order to have an efficient and safe installation, it is important to make sure the installation area is clean and free of debris. The first step in a successful walk-in cooler installation is making sure that you have a flat level surface to install your cooler. If your floor is not level, the door may not function properly and the panels may not seal properly. All coolers installed next to adjacent walls must have a minimum two inch clearance in between the cooler panels and the existing walls. Start by laying down the cooler's back floor panel as identified on the setup drawings. Lay down the rest of the floor panels following the layout of the setup drawings. Lock the first two panels together with the hex wrench, making sure panel edges are flush against each other. Repeat until all floor panels are securely locked together. Make sure the floor assembly is level front, back, and left to right. If not, shim under the floor panels until the cooler floor is level. Do not start installing your walls until you have checked that the floor assembly is completely level. For coolers without a floor, the installation process starts with laying down the vinyl screed. A flat, level floor is critical for a successful installation. For detailed instructions on vinyl screed installation for floorless walk-ins, please refer to the CoolBot walk-in installation and operation manual. Begin with a back corner or the least accessible corner. Lock it to the floor, making sure it sits correctly on the rails and that it is flush and aligned with the outside corner of the floor panel. 
Choose the next adjacent wall panel following the layout of your setup drawing. Before locking the wall panels together, always make sure they are flush at the top, flush along their seam, and with the floor panel. Lock the wall panels together and then lock them to the floor. Work your way around the cooler in both directions while continuing to check for alignment as you go. Make sure the wall panels are flush at the top with the floor edges, corners, and other walls as you proceed. Leave a front corner as your last wall panel after the door panel has been installed. When installing the door panel, do not remove the door from the door frame. Keep the door locked in the frame until all walls are locked in position to prevent injury or damage to the panel. On coolers without a floor, unscrew the shipping metal bracket from the bottom of the gems before installing the door panel. If the door panel was shipped with a wooden board, you can leave it during installation and remove later. On coolers with a floor, install the door panel as shipped. The door panel must be level and plumb before locking in position. Ensure it is flush at the top with all adjacent panels. If you have a cooler with a floor, do not screw in the door threshold yet. Coolers without a floor do not include a threshold. Select the cooler's back seaming panel as identified on the setup drawings and securely place it on top of the cooler, making sure it is supported by the side and back walls. Ensure that it sits properly on the tongue and groove rails and that it is flush with the walls on the outside. Proceed in a similar fashion with the next adjacent ceiling panels. In larger walk-ins, with sides 10 feet or longer, it may be appropriate to lock the ceiling panels to the walls as you go. Lock every ceiling panel to previous ceiling one, and then lock it to the walls while ensuring that all seams and joints are flush. On smaller walk-ins, all ceiling panels can be laid out and locked together first. Once the whole ceiling assembly is flush with the walls and corners, proceed to lock the ceiling panels to the walls. Inspect your walk-in cooler one last time. The seams in between panels should be tight. Check your door for correct operation. Open your door less than 90 degrees and let it close by itself. Make sure it closes easily and makes a good seal with the frame. The keys are taped to the back side of the handle. Test lock for proper operation. For coolers with a floor, screw the threshold into the floor panel using the self-drilling metal screws provided. For coolers without a floor, install the provided L metal brackets inside the cooler into the door frame to prevent shifting of the door jams when closing the door. Please refer to our installation manual for detailed instructions on anchoring the door frame on a floorless walk-in cooler. Remove any plastic protective film from the surface of your cooler panels before use. Install the provided cam lock access hole plugs. Carefully unpack your air conditioner out of the box. Make sure the air conditioner remains in the upright position. Once your unit is out of the box, remove the four screws which fasten the cabinet to the chassis. Two screws on the front on each side and two more on the back. Slide the chassis from the cabinet by gripping the base pan handle and pulling forward while bracing the cabinet. Carefully insert the air conditioner cabinet on the pre-cut hole from the inside of the cooler and slide towards the outside until the highest part of the top bracket of the cabinet touches the wall panel. Ensure that the cabinet has a slight tilt downward towards the outside. Position the cabinet so that the back is at least one inch lower than the front. Using the holes at the bottom of your air conditioner cabinet, screw in place to the panel using the sheet metal screws provided. Slide the chassis inside the cabinet. Do not use the filter of the air conditioner. Remove the filter when installing the front panel of the unit. Ensure that the harness that connects the front panel to the body of the air conditioner is properly connected and secured before you install and secure the air conditioner's front panel. The final step in assembling your CoolBot walk-in is installing the amazing CoolBot Pro controller to the air conditioner. 
Connecting the CoolBot Pro to your air conditioner is easy and can be done in only a few minutes by most end users. For step-by-step -step instructions and a step-by-step -step video guide on how to install your CoolBot Pro to your air conditioner, please visit our support page at www.storeitcold.com. All electrical work in your CoolBot walk-in cooler should be performed by a qualified licensed electrician. A complete electrical installation guide is available at our support library at www.storeitcold.com and it is also included as a section in the CoolBot walk-in cooler installation manual. An outdoor package is included with all CoolBot outdoor walk-in coolers. Refer to our installation manual for complete details regarding the installation of the outdoor package. Thank you for choosing CoolBot walk-in coolers, the most efficient and budget-friendly solution for your cold storage needs. We look forward to serving you for many years to come. Visit us at www.storeitcold.com or contact our amazing support team at support at storeitcold.com.